Olá, bem-vindos a uma, mais uma apresentação do nosso evento. Uh, o próximo tópico de hoje é uh, o próximo tema de hoje é o mundo da automação de processos e para isso nós convidamos aqui a participação do Sr. Dirk schmidt Hege. Sr. Dirk schmidt Hege é o vice-presidente de vendas da Siemens no mundo. Ele é responsável mundialmente pelos sistemas DCS em toda a Siemens, né, da divisão de automação e engenharia. Uh, Estamos convidando para ele apresentar diretamente da Siemens, uh, diretamente da Alemanha. E Dirk, muito obrigado pela sua participação. Seja bem-vindo ao nosso evento. Obrigado. É. Obrigado, André. Bom dia, senhoras e senhores. Um, meu nome é Dirk schmidt -Regel. Sim, eu sou responsável dentro da área de Process Automation dentro da Siemens mundialmente pelas vendas de automação de, de processo. Trabalhei na, lá no Brasil de 2010 a de 2012. Por causa disso, eu posso falar um pouquinho de português, mas uh, na verdade tenho mais segurança para esse tópico de falar em inglês. So um, let me give you an introduction uh, to the world of process automation a little bit. And don't worry, I will not bother you with uh, product features and our organization. I'm somehow more focused on our projects, on our opportunities, on our references, because that's the best way how to give you the impression of our portfolio elements and how to how to inspire you um, using uh, such kind of, of products as well. Uh, don't worry about this uh, little animal here on the top uh, uh, right hand side. It is part of our uh, rethink campaign um, as we think with uh, the entering the new world of digitalization, we need to rethink, we need to refocus, we need to re-inspire ourselves uh, using our solutions and how to how to go ahead. As I told you, um, I don't want to bother you too much with our portfolio elements, but somehow we need to understand that when we are talking about digitalization, we need to, to base our digitalization on a very stable, high performing uh, product portfolio. So let me introduce you uh, roughly to, to some of them. First of all, we have our analytical uh, products and solutions like uh, grass chemotography or gas analytics. And we also do the uh, system integration of those uh, systems here. Um, and uh, the business field of automation and engineering, we are talking here about uh, DCS systems. And uh, yes, it's not just one DCS system anymore. It's not just PCS7, it's also PCS Neo, uh, which we recently launched worldwide with the version three, a totally web-based uh, new process control system. And you will get some more uh, information during that event uh, about this new, new process control system. Then we are talking about Comos, uh, our plant engineering tool and XHQ, uh, the operation tool, because still our philosophy is from integrated engineering to integrated operation. And yes, also in automation and DCS systems, we are talking about not just software, we are also talking about hardware, like our controllers uh, from the S7400 family, but also hardware uh, from our, our IO system, the ET200 SPHA. So this we are handling in the automation and engineering organization. Then we also have uh, on board our instrumentation because when we are talking about digitalization, we, are we, we have to talk about how to make information out of data. And first of all, we need to get the data and we need to get the data out of the field. Like for example, uh, flow measures or level, pressure, temperature, you can read all of this and, and you can see the examples on this slide as well. When we are talking about digitalization, it is about communication. 
And uh, here we are talking about industrial communication like switches, all the different communication protocols, but also security products, which is very important when we are talking about uh, digitalization. We can uh, talk about as much as we want about uh, being um, online or talking about internet solution or web-based tools or so if we don't have um, the security on board and uh, the, the right portfolio elements we will find in uh, in that organization of uh, communication and identification. And last but not least, power supplies. You might say, hey, it's uh, just a power supply in, a, in an electrical cabinet. On the other hand, um, did you ever think about when one of those um, equipment will fail, is not working properly, then a complete uh, cabinet will not work properly and maybe this will have an impact on the complete production facility or the complete plant or maybe the entire enterprise. So um, we need to base our digitalization solutions on these uh, product uh, uh, elements. And we are serving um, lots of markets like the chemical industry, the petrochemical industry, pharma, all the process industries, glass and solar, water, wastewater, uh, but also discrete industries are served uh, from uh, with uh, some of these uh, portfolio elements. Um, and we are not only serving the markets and addressing the markets with products, we also do the services, for example, hotline services, repair services, field services, maintenance services, very important. And of course, also the combination and the integration of each and every um, portfolio element to its complete solution. So solution integration is also a uh, part of our, of our portfolio. At the end, uh, we even do the uh, consultancy and we are optimizing our customers' plans. In order to conclude the introduction to the process automation organization within Siemens, and um, I, I just want to inspire you with, uh, with our strategy. We want to be the technological leader in all our business fields. And yes, I already gave you a rough introduction to our products, and you will get even more information during, during that event. But um, we, we even expand our portfolio with additional services and, and portfolios like our applications. So we put all our vertical industrial know-how in certain software suites and our application suite, which may serve you also in very dedicated uh, um, a challenge of your uh, daily work in your daily production of your plant. I give you a rough introduction later on during that presentation as well. And yes, when we are talking about digitalization, we also need to talk about uh, digital lifecycle services. And I don't just talk about software maintenance services, but also the optimization of, of your plant being uh, re remotely connected. And um, all of our business fields, and we are very focused on making use of the digital twin, creating a digital twin and making use of that, simulating, creating, using the models out of our industrial know-how, out of our industrial expertise, creating the digital twin, modeling it and simulate certain uh, business areas which we then can handle in order to serve our customers and help our customers with our expertise as well. And I'm very proud uh, that we get the introduction of uh, Sematic PCS Neo, our web-based process control system, which opens up as, uh, the field of uh, process uh, technologies. And um, we are setting the pace with that. We are, we are the top-notch provider of uh, process control system with Sematic PCS Neo. And I think you will get a lot of inspiration during that event uh, and, and uh, you will know how to make use of the advantages of PCS Neo as well. 
the communication and networks, and um, we are somehow um, getting the hype of uh, the 5C, 5G networks and the solutions, and we have the right equipment in order to make use out of that. And um, above everything, it's not just providing the markets with services and products, we are also try to shape the future. We are driving the future. We are setting standards by participating in the different uh, associations. For example, the NOAA um, um, Association, the NAMO op Open Architecture Standards we are setting and uh, we are following uh, strictly those definitions as well um, in, in our entire um, research and de development of our products. Modular type packaging is uh, one of, of these standards, of these uh, protocols and, and standards which are set in a certain association in order to integrate uh, the different package units uh, to a complete system and by predefined interfaces. The open process automation forum, for example, and smart sensors, it's another uh, topic where we are uh, just by participating in certain associations uh, are able to setting the standards and driving the future. So what as I told you, this was uh, the chapter of the products. Now let's enter into the templates and the and the projects uh, we realized in, in 2020. And I hope I can give you some inspiration out of this as well. Of course, you know that we are present uh, in, in, in all over the world and that we have uh, engineering setups all over the world. And of course, in different regions, we are facing different challenges. We have regional specific challenges. We have different markets. We have different behaviors. We have different cultures and we need to serve all of them. Somehow this year it was different because of the pandemic situation. We were somehow facing in all the different countries the, the same challenges. And um, you may wonder why I bring you firsthand uh, this uh, project here, why I'm presenting this one at Sinopec in China. I mean, China uh, and Sinopec is a multi-industrial company. They are very present in the oil and gas market, in the petrochemical market. Actually, we did a refinery together with Sinopec in, in, in China as well, and uh, different other also chemical plants. But uh, because of the very high demand of, uh, of face masks, of course, due to the uh, pandemic situation, they wanted to uh, produce uh, uh, or they want to uh, build up 16 production lines and of course pretty fast because the demand was rapid. I mean, we are talking about a pandemic situation and we cannot hesitate in order to serve not just the market, but to protect uh, um, our people. So by using our portfolio elements um, and, and at the end uh, in the realization with uh, semantic PLCs and our drive systems, we could realize the production lines, but these plans also have been uh, planned with and, and engineered uh, based on based on COMOS, and we could reduce the time to market tremendously by making use uh, out of our uh, of our own tools. You may have heard about this uh, Dulux example already, but I think this is a very good example to explain digitalization. I mean. We, are, we don't need digitalization just to be the front runner, just to be ahead of, of everybody. We have to serve our markets and the market uh, needs are changing right now. We need to increase the flexibility. I mean, if you want to paint your own house or your, your flat, um, you don't need 5,000 liters but you, you still want to have uh, make use of your own color, of your own blend of, of color. And, um, but uh, it was not possible to produce that industrially with the standards of Dulux because of the changing times and uh, the production um, was not that flexible to reduce the lots to 100 liters, for example. 
by using semantic PCS7 and uh, in combination with process historian COMOS and semantic uh, IT EBR, electronic batch recording, we could uh, increase the production uh, processes by eight, eight times. Plus, we could reduce even the downtimes. We increase the flexibility of Dulux, producing uh, fewer lots with just 100 liters, very individual uh, colors for the paint, and even reduce the downtimes, more stable production. I think that's digitalization as at its best. Let's talk about uh, the glass and solar industry, or let's say this uh, glass manufacturer. You were facing uh, the, the problem to, to have an increased demand of glass, of this container glass, and uh, he had to increase his production uh, facility. And um, we could achieve that again by using PCS7, but also by uh, doing the engineering based on uh, on plant automation, process automation accelerator in combination with CIMIT. So we could do the engineering with uh, with our PAA tool and then simulate the, the, the outcome already and then handing the optimized uh, program over to PCS7. And this is also not just a fully integrated uh, solution and uh, helps us to document that. And I mean, if we are talking about documentation, it's not just to serve certain entities and official organization. Um, when, when we are talking about documentation, we are in the business case of standardization. We can create with PCS7, PAA and CIMIT a certain standard which can be uh, repeated also in other plans based on the same data where we already made, uh, made a good experience with. And uh, I mean, all the reference I'm talking about, it's not just that we as Siemens are doing it. I mean, we are serving the, the customer, we were consulting them, but in most of the cases, we are serving the customer via our partners, via our system integrators and via uh, OEMs. And we also get a good feedback. And, and yes, when we are talking about references, I mean, uh, we receive customer feedback. And here's one statement also from that, uh, from that glass manufacturer that he is very happy to use our software to make the um, good experience with our software and to set the standards uh, for their production facilities. Another glass uh, manufacturer, Horn. I mean, um, here is a different challenge. Um, he wanted uh, to produce or to build up a complete new plant. And uh, the production process uh, of, of glass um, involves a lot of uh, OEMs and not just one package unit and, and, and different machines, of course, and different machine builders are involved. And uh, we could serve the customer here uh, using our plant-wide automation uh, with uh, coordination of the different uh, um, um, OEMs as well, machine builders in the process industries. And the construction is uh, still underway, but also here, uh, we got pretty good feedback from uh, that manufacturer. Digitalization also means sometimes to change the process, to rethink. You remember uh, our campaign in the beginning, uh, it's the first page, um, and here Cathay, this uh, industrial bi biotech uh, company in, in China, really re things rethought their production. Um, they are producing polymers. I mean, the ingredients uh, for the chemical and for the pharmaceutical industries. And um, in the past, um, it has been artificially produced. I mean, synthetically um, uh, produced. Here, they are producing polymers out of corn by uh, using so it's a complete new production process using corn for uh, polymers. 
and uh, we could serve uh, uh, this customer planning their uh, their process based on commerce. We simulated it with the SIMIT and uh, we, we are producing on the basis of Semantic PCS7 and Semantic IT and it's operated and optimized with X XHQ. Again, from integrated engineering to integrated optimization, uh, uh, we could increase the capacity, production capacity uh, for these polymers by far. And again, we, we achieved a faster time to market and we have less production downtimes. We could secure the production uh, over the entire life cycle. Actually, and this is uh, brand new, and uh, to be honest, I wanted to, to present you also the name of, of this uh, pharma customer here. You may know who I'm talking about. I mean, the challenge we are facing in this year is COVID-19, so how to handle the coronavirus. And of course, everybody could think about, hey, the pharmaceutical industry, they make a huge business in the future, but it's the first place they need to invest. They need to in, uh, and investigate uh, finding the right vaccination um, for, for that uh, virus. And um, you may heard uh, in the news uh, that uh, some companies are already successful and they are planning to be on the market in quite some time. Huh? They are in the testing phase right now. And uh, as this is not finally re released from, from that customer, um, I cannot show you the name, but uh, you may know who I'm talking about. So we are together with that, with that customer. We are partnering. We are setting up a certain production line. We are we were investigating. We were analyzing uh, also in the laboratories how to find the right vaccination. And now it's uh, up to all of us. Uh, how how can we produce uh, the uh, the, the huge lots in order to serve the markets and um, which may every and, and, and hopefully this will help everybody um, to to be safe um, in due time. Let's talk about water. And um, I mean, water is from my personal point of view one of the most important uh, resources we have on this globe. And um, although we have uh, a lot of water available um, on, on the Earth, of course, but um, the most uh, uh, of it is it's in the sea. So it's uh, we we need to desalinate uh, the water uh, in order to make use uh, of, of this resource. And um, there's a very innovative uh, company in, in Saudi Arabia and, uh, um, and uh, this company uh, wanted to have uh, a desalination plant and, and of course uh, um, um, the need is there, the demand is there in Saudi Arabia. You can imagine uh, in the middle of a desert there is uh, not so much water available. So uh, why not making use out of the seawater? And um, unfortunately, the seawater desalination process um, is uh, involved, heavily involved with a lot of energy and so on. So, but with the solar power desalination plant, we could make use of two resources, um, the seawater plus the solar uh, light uh, from, from the sun. And, and we use the solar energy uh, in order uh, to make this uh, plant running. Again, we plan this uh, uh, plan with, uh, with uh, COMOS. We uh, um, realize it with PCS7. And again, a lot of uh, OEMs are involved. Huge power uh, stations are involved because you can imagine it's not just about producing the water, but also distributing it in the complete country. Uh, a lot of pumping stations are involved as well. Um, so, but very economic friendly um, and uh, with uh, uh, regeneration of, of the resources as well. And one of our stable uh, customers in the water area once more, Wasserwerke Westfalen. Um, I mean, um, 
the production of water, especially of drinking water, is a very sensitive field and every, everybody is uh, needs to protect the plants and the distribution of the water because, as I said, it's a very valuable resource when we are talking about water. So together with uh, PCS7, but also with HMI, with, the, with our IPCs, with the panels, with the switch gears uh, from Siemens uh, uh, portfolio, uh, we could serve this customer uh, to eliminate vulnerabilities um, at their work, water work. So they are very much more secure in their production facility and distributing the, this uh, valuable resource. So I hope I could inspire you with certain examples from other customers, from production facilities, how we can make use uh, of digitalization of or sometimes only portfolio elements uh, to serve certain demands in the different industries. And um, on top of that, I brought you this application suite. And uh, we cannot, we unfortunately do not have time to go through each and every application. But um, one um, topic is common for all of these applications. They make use or they, they, they use the data to create information out of that. For example, this application here, it's called My Expert. It gives you the, the status of your automation system. It checks whether you, a, a new uh, firmware is available and how you should upgrade to, to a new firmware or where you can optimize your uh, architecture and so on. And I, I think it's a very useful tool um, and the data is available. But to inform you how to do that, that's a different story and the app uh, is helping you with that. And this is somehow the story of all these apps. You do have access to this uh, application suite as well. And I'm pretty sure our colleagues uh, in, in Brazil will help you and uh, sending you this, uh, this link as well. And you have access to all these, uh, to all these applications. The last time I was here in that forum, I used this picture. And again, this is not a picture of my last uh, vacation. It is, I, I'm, I was using this picture in order to demonstrate the challenge, the wave which is, which is ahead of us. I was already picture, picturizing the challenge of digitalization in front of us. I think it was in 2016. Uh, the last time we had this uh, space event in, in Brazil. But um, I was already mentioned there, hey, if you look at the surfer, he's not afraid at all because he is prepared. He is trained. Maybe he is just inspired. Uh, I mean, if you look uh, carefully, you see he even has fun riding such a wave. And now I want to uh, use this picture not just to, to talk about the challenge. I want that all of us will rethink the wave. I want to show and demonstrate the market that we are the wave. So, and that is uh, rethinking because we have all the answers available. We have uh, digital uh, digitalization in form of software, process automation systems, uh, hardware, uh, applications, we are able to create information out of data. Having that said, I wish you a very good event uh, for the rest of the time. And it was uh, my big pleasure um, being or participating once more. And um, I, I'll be with you and hope I see you soon. Stay healthy. Thank you very much. Muito obrigado, gente.